highways are essential for regional economic development. Wider highway lanes in safe driving speeds allow for an increased movement of people and goods, enhancing trade and tourism in the area. However, when highways pass through protected natural areas, undesirable effects may occur. It is estimated that in the United States alone, one million animals were struck by vehicles in 2008, including snakes, deer, and big cats. There are no statistics on these events in Mexico, but it is expected to be much higher due to the greater density of wildlife and inadequate highway signs. Although all roads have an effect on wildlife movement, unpaved roads do not have much of an impact in this regard due to their low traffic volume. In fact, unpaved roads are often used by wildlife as corridors to search for water, food, and even mates, since these roads are often surrounded by vegetation and therefore animals feel safer. However, many of these unpaved roads are now being upgraded and connected with the federal road network. Unlike unpaved roads, highways pose a serious threat for wildlife, since the number of road kill increases with traffic speed and volume. Some animals are very sensitive to vehicle noise and lack of vegetation cover while other species refuse to even cross highways. For these reasons and more, highways divide and isolate animal populations. As traffic density and speed increases, the fragmentation of animal populations increase. This results in decreased population densities, a smaller genetic pool, as well as changes in the proportion of age and gender. Together, this may lead to extinction. In southeast Mexico, in the state of Campeche, is the Calakmul Biosphere Reserve and the ecological zone of Balamcu. Together, these areas comprise more than 11,000 square kilometers of well-preserved jungle. Besides its size, the location of these ecological zones play an important role in conserving biodiversity in the region, as it connects the jungle of Quintana Roo in Chiapas, as well as the Petén jungle in northern Guatemala. This forms an integral part of the Mesoamerican Biological Corridor, which is of great importance in conserving biodiversity in the Americas. These protected areas contain more than 1,500 species of plants, 400 species of butterflies, 15 species of fish, 18 species of amphibians, more than 70 species of reptiles, 350 species of birds, and almost 100 species of mammals. Of these, over 160 species are under protected status and mainly classified as threatened or endangered. Federal Highway 186, in the southern part of the state of Campeche, passes through Calakmul Biosphere Reserve in the ecological zone of Balamcu. This highway is key to regional development and it is currently expanding from two to four lanes. However, this lane expansion can negatively affect wildlife during their year-round migration. In order to propose alternative solutions to this wildlife highway conflict, the EPOMEC Center at the Autonomous University of Campeche, the Department of Geography at the University of Calgary, the Wildlife Conservation Society, and the Civil Association of Applied Ecology of the Southeast initiated a research project in 2007 with broad citizen participation. This study is based on four aspects. One, wildlife images captured by automatic camera. Two, recording the tracks and other evidence of wild animals. Three, 
interviewing local communities, and four, reports of wildlife sightings made by motorists. Automatic cameras have been installed at varying distances from the highway, on perpendicular on paved roads and gaps in the vegetation. These cameras are activated by the animal's motions or body heat. If you see these cameras, please do not move or obstruct their operation. Animal tracks and other evidence of wildlife presence are recorded through weekly tours of these unpaved roads. These tracks are identified with the help of local guides and the geographic locations are identified using a GPS. In addition to these activities, regular interviews are conducted with community members in the region, those who have significant knowledge of the local wildlife. Just as important is the data provided by some motorists on the Highway 186. In restaurants and hotels along the highway, printed guides are placed for the identification of fauna, as well as a map and a record sheet where one can pinpoint the location, date and time when an animal was seen. There is also the possibility of providing such data by email and the internet. All information obtained by the various methods is being integrated into a geographic information system in order to identify wildlife crossing sites that occur more often on the highway. Two and a half years of monitoring have identified three important wildlife crossings between the communities of Constitution and Spuhil. Further monitoring of these areas will tell us whether they will remain as such after the highway expansion. The mitigation measures proposed are primarily aimed at reducing accidents by vehicle collisions and to increase the connectivity of vegetation around important wildlife crossings. The first objective is to install effective animal crossing signs as well as movable speed bumps that can be used during the seasons of the year and hours of the day with the highest incidence of wildlife crossings. The second objective is a reforestation program in the critical wildlife crossing locations as well as the expansion of drainage bridges across the highway so that both can serve as better corridors for wildlife. Research continues to improve and it is planned to continue until 2012. A recently added research activity is the measurement of noise from vehicles and to monitor noise levels at varying distance from the highways over the course of the highway redevelopment. While the research continues, you can help to reduce wildlife collision on the highway by following these simple steps. Number 1. Reduce your vehicle speed below the maximum limit. The stretch of highway between Balamku and Kalakmul is only 60 kilometers. If you reduce your speed from 110 to 80 kilometers per hour, it will only add 15 minutes to your trip and significantly lower the probability of a collision with a wild animal. Number 2. Respect highway signs and speed bumps. Number 3. Stay alert on the road, especially at dusk and dawn when wildlife is most active. Number 4. If you see a wild animal crossing the highway, please report it in restaurants and hotels located in the communities of Constitution, Conwas, Becan, and Spujil. If you have any questions or comments, please email Remember that it's in your hands to help protect wildlife and prevent accidents.